he needs to have that confidence that's going to show when he's standing there. I can't do it. <laughs> that's an attitude, that's a personality that cannot be faked. It cannot be brought out of nothing. That's it. Yeah. I've been led by great men. And I'll know when I'm looking at him, I'll feel it. My heart will move. And when my heart moves, he's become Alexander. I, I don't feel like I, I, I know him, I understand him. I'm near to, you know, being at a point where I could be him in front of a camera. But, but as long as I keep going forward, as long as I keep going forward, as long as I keep retaining, attaining, you know, I, I, I hope I'll be all right, you know. Before Colin can enter the next phase of training, when he will take command of over 700 men, he must understand some of the secrets of leadership. What I want you to understand is all good field commanders, no matter how much they can rock and roll and maneuver elements, are always driven by logistics. Logist what I'm concerned more with is getting inside Alexander as a military leader, because I'm one. I know the cues. I know what things to look for. I understand some of the things that he must have understood. And I feel some of the things that he must have felt. So what I'm trying to do is point out to Colin how that applies to a soldier. The chariot forces. Greeks. Alexander. By the time Colin leads his men into battle, Captain Dye wants to make sure that he understands the essence of Alexander's military strategy. Show me the Macedonian line. Dale Dye is an old hand, a former Marine captain who has worked with Stone on many of his films. Now, where was Alexander? Alexander was on the right flank. Okay, good. Where was uh, Parmenian? He'd be behind his troops, right? Now, that's the disposition of troops on the day that Alexander chose to accept battle. Captain Dye must give Colin an intensive course in some of the lessons taught, even today, to the cadets at the United States Premier Military Academy, West Point. At West Point, we study Alexander because he provides a case study of marvelous generalship in a variety of ways and at various levels of war. Uh, Alexander portrayed the, the heroic qualities that his men expected of him. They wanted him to be out in front, to be the best in everything, uh, to be the most daring, the most dashing, the most competent in military skills. If he were not that way, they would look to somebody else to lead them. Back in California, Captain Dye must make sure Colin understands the traits expected of a true leader. The last thing a good leader is, is wishy-washy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. The minute you start scratching your butt or scratching your head, the soldiers say, uh-oh, he doesn't know. Alexander yeah. never let that creep in. Enthusiasm is infectious. It's like a disease. Absolutely, yeah. You know, everybody's crying a poor ass, and you come walking out there and saying, it's a lovely day. We're here in the field. Every day's a holiday. Every man's a brother. Every payday's a windfall. And that's the kind of enthusiasm that he shows. Okay. Third is endurance. This is, if I have to march you 100 miles today, I will be at the head. Yeah. I want you to demonstrate that endurance when you get to the head of your army. Mm. They're going to be, if, if the king quits, everybody quits. Well, it's, it's that thing about, you know, ask, don't ask anyone to do something that you wouldn't fully do yourself. Precisely. The purpose of all of this is that every time you're in character as Alexander, and every time you're going to make a decision, I want you to run over these leadership traits and see how they apply. See if which one of them fits this particular scenario. Role. Yeah. Actors can be brilliant, and Colin is a brilliant actor, but he has to be one of the most brilliant field commanders history's ever produced. So he needs to know what it is he has demanded every one of his soldiers to do. You got to be able to look at a youngster. He has to look in your eyes, and he says, you know, I don't understand this, 
this is dangerous. I could inherently get killed here. But there's something about the look in your eyes that tells me I'm okay. I can do this. This will work. Yeah. Now, when we go into training in Morocco, I'm going to be your old salty general. And I'm going to be second guessing you. And you'd better be able to look in my beady ass eyeballs and convince me <laughs> that you're right. Because that's how we're going to play this. That's what we're going to do. It's mid August 2003. And it's time for Colin to leave the comfort of his trailer behind. But before joining his troops in Morocco, Colin heads for London to visit Pinewood Studios. Here, hundreds of specialists have been working for months, creating the weapons and other props for Colin.